I'm Patrick Bailey with Whiteboard Coder. Today is June 12th, 2022, and in this video I'm going to attempt to fix a rain burr valve, sprinkler valve that does not shut off every time. Okay, I put my own sprinkler system in a couple of years ago and it's been working great. And just to go through some URLs real quickly, here is the valve I'm using from Rain Bears. Here's a direct link to their set of valves. And I happen to be using, uh, and I actually bought this at the sprinkler store. It's not an affiliate ad. It's just, a, they did a great job. They had a great price at the time and I liked them. Ordered a bunch. And I got this Rainbird 100 HV NPT. Now I did <clears throat> luckily make sure to order more than I needed. So I'm putting the whole system in. I ordered two or three extra valves that I had no plan to ever use. Uh, with the intent that if something broke down, I got the valve and I can swap it out or do something because, you know, over time things break. And I was, and should I ever sell my house, which I have no plan to, I would leave these with the house for the next owner so they just had replacement parts. Um, and I think that's going to pay off in this one. So what I have occurring right now, it just started here, it was occurring a little bit last year and now it's kind of just full blown, happens all the time. On one of my sprinkler heads, um, just one, all the rest are fine. If I turn it on electronically, the uh, solenoid will go, the, um, the valve will turn on, everything will work just fine. However, it will not shut down. And last year it was every so often, you know, one or two or one or three times, my wife could probably tell me better because she's the sprinkler goddess, uh, it would not shut off. So sometimes it would work, sometimes it wouldn't. And then what I had to go do is I had to go over there and even though it was technically off, you know, as far as electronics are concerned, I had to go turn the main valve off, let the pressure go down, turn it back on, and then it was fine. So that became a pain to go deal with that one zone. And my wife's been dealing with that. She's the, as I said, the sprinkler goddess. So she's been dealing with that, and it's not too much fun for her. So now, um, oh, here's the next thing. If, you, if, you're having the, if you're having some problem with your flow, go watch this video. So uh, Rainbird did a great video out here and I'll put a link to it that just shows how this valve works. And I think it's probably how most of their valves work. And it's pretty cool. So I'm not gonna show it here and go into detail, but go watch it and you get an idea. But basically what we have here is, and I'll, I'll take this apart and kind of show it here before we go dive out there. We have this diaphragm up here, which has all this pressure pushing down and then that valve releases it and releases the pressure. So there's less pressure sealing it and then that allows the water to flow through. So I have a feeling that my seal is not sealing well, and that's what I need to fix. And luckily, I believe, I haven't tried this, we'll see, I believe I can take the guts out of a new one and swap them out for the guts in the old one, and I think that'll solve my problem. That way I don't have to cut any pipe, remove anything, I can just reuse what I have, and I think that's gonna work. Uh, now in this video, we'll kind of see that it works that one time, uh, but how's it going to hold, hold up over time? So what you uh, look look in the uh, in the responses in the comments because someone needs to ask this question or I need to post myself. Hey, it's been two months and it's fine. It's been a year. It's been fine. So go look for those things because maybe this might be a solution or it might be a temporary solution. I, I or it might just end up being better to replace the whole thing or I might be wrong and it might be another issue. Well, I don't see how I can be wrong. It's the valve. The valve is the issue. So with that, let's go kind of do a close-up on what I'm going to do and let's go do it. Okay, so here is the valve and I already took this one apart. This is the, the fresh one. I used an eight millimeter socket wrench to take all these guys out. So they're pretty long screws. But I got this top off. The idea is I want to replace the whole thing. But also I want to replace the seal. So down here, once I take, take that off all in one fail swoop, we have this seal down here that's got the spring on it. And it's kind of attached there at the end. So I'm just going to gently try to pop it off. I don't want to break this. There we go. Because I think the idea is this seal is probably not as, what, as good as it should be. But also make note, it should be pretty easy. The flow, this little guy, you see the flow, number, flow arrow here. I want to line that up. It should be, well, it should be pretty self-evident where it's going to go. But then we got to also make sure this guy lines up in the same way in which it should go. And again, it should be self-evident because that hole is going to go in that hole. So I think the idea is something is either messed up in this guy or there might be something because the water does flow. If you watch the video, the water does flow into here and through here. This could have a seal broken or something. I don't, I don't know. It's, this is not my expertise. Just a regular homeowner. 
But let's go replace this and see if that solves our problem. Okay, so start off with, I need to go turn off my water pressure and also look for spiders because I apparently have some spiders. So I got my pressures off to these particular guys. And then this is my culprit. So I'm gonna just open it up wide to relieve any last bit of pressure out of there. And what I'm gonna need to do is get this guy out, which I'm sure this is gonna be a little, gonna probably get a little wet doing this. I'll stand up there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my wife's standing up because she doesn't want to get wet, so. The pressure should be off. I see a little bit of water leaking out, but not much yet. Just residual water pressure there. Uh, another thing you could do, which is not necessary, is you could unplug it. Now, right now, there should be no power going to it because the valve's not turned on. Uh, but if you're a little concerned, you could unplug the power. But these are low voltage, 12 volts. And so, I mean, you could probably lick it all day long and not hurt yourself. But if you were concerned about power, you could go shut it off. I have not, but that's not really. You need to put an advisory on there. Please do not lick. Please do not. Yeah, advisory. Please do not lick power outlets. Yeah. Sorry, my wife's giving me an advisory. Don't, don't lick power outlets. Even low voltage. Even low voltage. Don't go. Not a good habit to get into, right? Licking anything where power is going out. Almost got it. Well, he's bugging it along. Okay, so still, still connected up. Oh, the valve is still. The connectors and the valve is still connected. So I should be able to you know, pop this off. Now, I mean, it looks fine. I mean, because it does shut off sometimes. I don't see any tears or anything in it that was obvious, but it could just be one little tiny thing's off. I mean, it, it could. I mean, also, there could be something wrong with the shape of that, which means I gotta replace the whole. Oh, and I have a rock in there now. Oh. I, that was me. Uh, that, no, there wasn't a. Well, I should say it was me. I don't think I dropped a rock in there. Uh, I don't remember seeing it. There's a rock in there. That might be it. Well. That would disrupt the flow. I guess look for rocks. Sometimes videos turn out a little more interesting than they otherwise would be. Man, that was stuck. Yeah, well, there was a rock in there. Huh, well, I just dropped the rock down here. It was a little tiny yeah, rock. It was, I saw it fall. You saw it? Okay. Yeah. Well, heck, that might would do it. Might, that would make the flow a little different, but would it stop the seal? Uh, it could push up against it or something. Yeah. I, I don't know, but you know what? I I did not. No, I did. Well, this could be my fault. I did. Um, well, no, it is my fault because I redid everything. Because yeah, we I took know. out. This is my fault. This is totally my fault. Because I redid all this stuff, put everything in. And maybe I didn't notice that a rock fell in when I was attaching it and it got shoved in there. Wow, maybe that's to blame. Do you want to well, continue or just if that's the reason why <laughs> it's not turning on and off. That's a good question. So, well, I have a reason. I have a reason. There's a reason why, well, when there's an obvious reason. If there's an obvious reason, let's go put it back together. Okay, I'm gonna put everything back. You think you're gonna do one thing, and you end up doing another. But th the process would be the same. You know, you'd stick this guy on here. I'd stick this. This is the original. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep the one together for now. But I might be back out here doing the same thing, another video. 
um, I'll put this guy back out. Now the only thing that would be different if I was going to replace this guy was I would need to cut this off. So I would, uh, I would come down here and I would cut these off. That's why I brought all this out here. I would cut the cables, you know, pull them back a little bit, uh, strip them a little bit, and then attach all the new stuff off. But I'm, I'm, I guess I get to save a step this time. As okay, well, wow, there's. Well, out of out of six times we turn on zone two, it'll screw up at least once if that wasn't it. So. So one in six times. Okay. So yeah, that's something I. I'm gonna try now. That's something I mentioned earlier, that uh. It was intermittent, and um, but boy, it's a pain when that thing gets stuck and stays on for two hours, and you get to watch your water bill go up and up and up, right? Okay, get in there. Okay, so we might, well, I might, I might save one of my water valves for a future replacement, right? I hope it was that. That would be awesome. Boy, that would be. Because it seems, you know, when it works, it works, which is kind of weird. Yeah, and that, that flow, that water flow around that rock is probably always changing just a little bit. And it's probably hitting different things at different times because it's jerking back and forth. And, well, no, that would totally be it. It's a um, shut. Yeah, because, uh, well, let me. This little valve, um, let me get this right here. Yep. This guy is pushed down, is closed. Yep. And then up is letting that water through. Yep. And there's a rock in there. And if there was a rock right there, if all of a sudden it just got wedged a little bit and then this couldn't quite seal, I, yeah, that, I'm, I'm pretty certain it's a rock. But then I shut the whole thing off the water pressure goes down, that rock kind of settles down, the seal becomes good again, and then, uh, then I'm okay. And maybe I'm okay for, like you said, five more times. And the sixth time it just kind of moves around just enough. All right, so I guess note to self, when you're putting in sprinklers yourself, make sure you don't stick a rock in there. I mean, I'm the one that did, I. <laughs> the good and bad about do-it-yourself is uh, you're the one to blame, right? If something goes wrong, you're the one that did it. Hmm. Let's make sure this is sealed here good. So too. So I'm going to tighten these down, you know, okay. snug. Yeah, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to turn the valve back on and make sure that seal in general is still good. Okay, I don't see water shooting out anywhere right now, so that's good. And then I'm going to, if you don't know, you can do this manually. You can pull this up. Oh, I already had it up. Okay, so if I pull it up just a little bit. If I look out, I'm sure my sprinklers are going now. Hmm? Oh, I see them. They're good. There's, there's probably no reason to film that. Just, you know, the sprinklers are going. The proof in the pudding, like we could probably go use the Rainbird controller right now and turn them on and off. Uh -huh. and I'm sure they're going to work just fine. The, the proof in the pudding is over time. So that's why I said in the, in the notes, hopefully at some point I'll say in the show notes two months from now, it's still working. In six months, it's still working. In two years, it's still working. So 
Um, otherwise, there'll be a link to another video saying here's how I replaced everything, but I found something that's probably the most likely cause, a little rock in there. So, you know, you try to make one video one way and it turns another more interesting, a rock. So, anyway, if I haven't posted something in a couple months, yell at me and I'll go post something saying it's still working. Okay, easier to repair than I thought, so cool. You know, should have done this last year.